Alright, did I mother oh, I usually have this up boop, boop. There we go. Okay. I am ready. It has been a while, buddy. It has been a while since I have played this. I've kind of been getting stuck on Dead by Daylight. But it's not my fault. Dead by Daylight has just been, I, I, I've just been enjoying Dead by Daylight, and so I've been playing that for Spooky Month, so. Also, it's like, considering how short the base game was, I, I'm pretty sure the DLC, the fucking, the DLC is gonna be just as short. That is not where I started from, or that is not where I left. Ah. This is where I am. But as I was saying, considering how short the base game was, I thought the DLC would be just a short, and well, it kind of you didn't want to you just the big end picture. it. The enormity of this revelation. I have changed See? the world. When we are free, we can put that knowledge to use. Oh, she we looks like she is. Science. Tripping. Way it should have been the way anyway, see, I've already made it halfway. Be. Three out of six. You'll want to work on that charismatic guru thing before you pitch this horror show as a solution to life's problems. Now, you, you, what was your name? I want to say Becky. We had a map. How the fuck do I pull the inventory? Uh, I? No, not I. Abilities, upgrades, research, uh, uh, M, N, B, V, C, C, L. Oh. No. Q. D. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I had to go do yellow. Like, I know I've been through orange, and I know I did blue. And then through God, blue, I went to disgusting. fucking green. What was that? Now do I have my... Where is my map? Options. Controls. Where is uh, space, left mouse, right mouse? I have a shove? What the fuck? Meditate, counterattack, Z, presentation, share. Let me shove this Inventory upgrades, abilities. Hey, pause menu. Prism ability, mind attack, meditate interaction. Did I... Am I tripping? Did I not have a map? No, I 100% had a map. Right, cool. Alright. God, this Kithonian? Kith Lovecraftian? Kithonian? Now this is more... Now this is kind of Lovecraftian. 
Anyways, I don't appreciate walking through a fucking wall of guts. Uh, you are you, if I believe. You guys are loud. Two? Yes, two. Moin. All right, reach on my thing, and then what? You. Yes, ah, one. Okay, noted. It has been a while, just gotta remember where I am. Ah, you fucking whole ass bitch. Why do you guys hurt so much? Maybe I shouldn't explore so much. We create another one of those. Cause that fucker already hurt. Like I just feel. There's eyes. Locked from the other side, eh? One of these. Inventory full on though. No, I'm good. I'm good. It's all good. Let's keep moving. Spirit cap, which of which I do not have a lot of. Okay, other way we go, hang on. Part of me wants to explore, but at the same time, part of me kinda wants to not waste my <gasps> items. A lavender. Some nice salt. Oh, that's right. These crystals, you'll give me all of the prismatic energy or the spirit energy. So I can use that to meditate. No, 
know not to say. Keep them. I am not good at this combat. Inventory, cool. Some sort of latcher nest. What does the latcher do again? Oh, fuck. I think I remember you now. days when I can just go up to those things and smack them instead of having to shove my whole hand inside of them. Inventory full on that. Inventory full on that. Oh, that's what that is. Damn, I fucking never did some blade. Fucking running through the iridescent blade. Ah. Uh... It's only good in certain circumstances. Use that. You got plenty of that. Ew. Regular walls? I'm fine. Spiky walls? Nah, man. You tell me to squeeze through some spiky walls, I'm have issues. Please, be done. Okay, we made it back. Now we gotta go clear the other side. Hmm. I understand. Oh, look, it's an eye. Stay out of the light. That, what are you? Fuck those things. What was that? Sage? Sage. Was there a way to destroy those crystals and... No, abilities. What was my... Orange bit? No, repel. This one. Uh, plus 25 damage, swarm spawns a second. That's what I was... That I did. I just doubled down on the damage. I could have done this, but... It's just so useful with the damage. Plus, I, I thought, hey, maybe I can get it. Look at it. Hopefully, I can get it all. You don't see me, bitch. I thought. 
Oh, read. You liar, August. 197? Or 1970 something? The gloom gives power. It makes one strong. Almost godlike. I killed a dozen latchers and countless corrupted followers of Monroe Anton. Cultists. Yes, they were cultists. So was I once. Now I am so much less and so much more. Last late summer 1970 something. A tentacle almost got me, almost drained me. Monroe directed me down a passage where the the thing lurked in darkness. Was it deliberate? If not, I wonder if I could do the same to him. I am afraid. I will only get one chance to strike. Monroe insists that his top acolytes are down here with us. I have not seen them anywhere. I bet they made it back to the, the to the Geodome's protection circle. I hope they're stuck there slowly starving to death. Understandable. Ah, oh, what the fiak are you? Beast here, you spotter? I don't know, it's how the fuck do I kill you? Avoid the shift of light or it will attack. It is invulnerable to all damage. Great. If spotted, hide and it will quickly forget your location. Fair. An accidental horror. How the fuck? The spotters are created when a mandacore fails to eject a mind eater. The creatures remain bound, bonded, and the mind eater takes over. The spotters search relentlessly for mental energy, though they cannot collect it. When one finds a target, its eye light. Eye light locks on, the beams shift through the electromagnetic spectrum from orange to red and finally harmful radiation. Spartars cannot retain focus for long without a target. They lose sight of it, they will quickly return to the to the relaxed blue light state. You don't say. Please tell me I'm within cover. Mup! No, there's two. Hey, bud. Welcome back. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're gonna move, and then I can move up here. And then over there. Yes. Ah, I wonder where I go next. to have a mental breakdown. Inventory full. Cool. Inventory full. Cool. Charge until hit. Damage charges until hit. Heavy charge. Until hit. Heavy charged hit explodes.
Oh, thank God. That is gone. Ah. Give me that full spirit energy. Give me that full mental... Mental energy. Ah, ten hand. Do I have a new ability I can... Have I been upgrading this? I have not. I fully upgraded my melee damage. Gain from meditation. Kind of useless right now. Increase spirit meter. Increases body meter. Mind is only at the second row. Get that up to there. Yeah, that's fine. Spawn a serrated crystal, plus 33 damage, plus 100% radius. Duration. This will help. Is that one? No. Is it this one? Yes. See, now I could, or I can. Exactly. Glue my fluid, glue my powder. There's the map, it's some key items. Boom. Easy. Now I return. So that I can get the second upgrades from Anton. Not that way. See, okay, so yes, I did. I did green, orange, blue. And then I needed whatever I needed for the indigo. Just the yellow. Dissolves the indigo moss, so I do need the enriched mercury, which can be found in the red. Hmm. I'm impressed. I needed a daughter like you way back then. <laughs> Things would have been so different. And then after respawning or change again. charging a new prism rot, just like she did anyways now I got my full fucking green oh that was bright Onwards the red.
I know better than to try and go for the doors now. Uh, where's, weren't these things just a void? I'm pretty sure those things are just a void. Something about the purple one. Oh! Oh! See me. when I only have the option to run. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stay here for a bit. Hey, when that's my only option. Over there, let me go this way. Uh... Sage. Yeah, yeah. Two or more enemies with one near an explosion. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what can I make? What do I need to make? Right now, besides just health, there's not much I need to get. Prismatic crystals, eh? 
It has come, occurred to me that this was not the way. Uh, less damage, thank you. Instant max that. What I really want is the stun counter, but considering my mind... Uh, my, my mind XP, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Also with prism cost, my mind is just... shite. I got that. And I got that. Or eat lavender for the first time in a while. Maybe some ginger as well. Or did I miss something? Hello? Maybe I have to have this thing. Yeah, follow me. Come on. Destroy the crystals. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. Symbol right back here. Come on! Thank you! Now what about this one? And hey, while you're at it, this one as well? when I can't kill the things and I need the things to destroy the things so that I can progress. God, I hate that trope. Door's locked off. Not 
fire. Stop with that, man. Oh, it was not this way. I wonder if I destroy this thing. Ah, oh, no, this thing. Yeah, thank you. Excuse me. Moving through. Ah, no, wrong one. Two. this shit up. This one's annoying. I really don't like having to fucking deal with that guy. There's a thing. Fuck, I need to meditate. Well, I mean, meditating is fine. Cinnabar bone, a bone that has been dredged through the mercurial soup, which is infused with the mental forming collected within the bloom. Thank God that's done. Cool, but well, what about the uh, the red acolyte? That looks like a fucking boss room. Okay. There is no time, only gloom. Okay, sound. Uh, sound like an angst teenager, but alright. Uh, but now, at long last, also hope. I have found the final substance a human bone coated with cinnabar dripping from the giant crystallized mandacore. Is that what that was? Most likely the thing was caught midway through some horrific transformation with this last ingredient. I believe I can clear away the indigo ball. All my discoveries, the egg sac, the glue my fluid, the cinnabar bone, I have aspects of mind, body, and spirit. They might fulfill the requirements of the alchemical tria, tria prima. Sure, they will give me my philosopher's stone, the rebus poison. If I am right, the poison will clear the iridescent mall. There lies sal there lies salvation. A portal. I heard Monroe whispering about it, talking to himself, or more likely as many demons. If I can just find the strength, if I can just pull myself from this toxic ground, I might have a chance. I might have a chance. First poison, then deal with Monroe, then deliverance. Alright, this is gonna suck. Oh, didn't wait, did I have to charge? 
charge up every time. What's up, man? Finally killed the thing that was invincible and was chased. What is that? Squelching noises. Oh, it's him. Mind to steal plus 25 duration plus damage. I was wondering what's this game about? Uh, it's been going. This game. I don't know how to. How to I don't know how the fuck to describe this game. You're you. You went to a retreat. Turns out the retreat was actually a cult. You had to deal with Lovecraftian monsters. Yeah, and this is a this is the DLC actually because the game the game was actually really short Let's go with duration That's it Oh, as you can see it is very uh, Fleshy god damn So the first, the first part of the game, uh, da, 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 da. the first part of the game was the very linear. Like it was pretty much just you're on a path, just walk it essentially. And now in this part though, it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more roguelike, I guess you could say. Because you can you can travel through the through the zones and you can die and you'd reset here at the middle. You lose any upgrade you lose any upgrade to your abilities you get. You lose all your resources. So, sounds kinda fun. It's interesting, that's for sure. Not as much of a horror game as I imagined it would be. But definitely, uh... Fleshy. Like, it's very, very weird. You are one of the few who understand the true power of prismic science. 
Anyways, this is the bitch. We steal his power whenever we level up. Even to hippies, you must have sounded like a lunatic. Where was the indigo mall? I have to go to the blue one and down to the right. But first, I should make the thing. A chemical waste. A waste created when Reba's poison ingredients are incorrectly mixed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh! Over here. There you go, enrich mercury. Pass the liquid mercury and reach for the talent. You got superpowers, please? Can I wear them? Yeah, I got plenty of them. If I could bring them up while I'm in the Nexus, but I can't. Blue. Yeah, so I get all of these powers. My favorite is this one, though, because it. It, fuck, it, it fucks. It distracts the enemies. It replenishes the my spirit, which is what I need to use them. It's very nice. Yeah, the only issue I really have with the game, though, is that it's very short. Like, as you can see right there, charge the mask, five out of six. This is my second time playing the DLC. Is it indie? I... It's made by... Uh, let me see who it's made by. I don't remember off the top of my head. Chant, 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 chant. It was made... It, the developer was Brass Token, and the publisher was Prime Matter. What interested me was it was supposed to be a, a survival horror, so I thought, oh, yeah, we're stuck on an island. And I gotta survive against all these monsters, and I'd, I'd be able to... I thought it was gonna be an open world type of experience, or at least an RPG, but it was just very linear. But yeah. Sounds like small studio. Yeah. Yeah, the developer at least. This is the only thing they have. Prime Matter made System... Sh or published System Shock. Bros, I'm getting I'm getting distracted. Anyways, it's it's a very small very small island. I thought it'd be bigger. You do have to kind of manage your resources. So there is some survival aspect to it. Two of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, wrong one. And then we go with this one. Then back to this one. <laughs> We lay down a trap here. Got ah! that bitch. Eat, eat. Oh my god. This one has some oil. Ooh, okay. Okay, 
that was that was a bot that was a fight the fights and the fighting's not really all there like it's very simple but since you can like they can fuck you up but you can really fuck them up it's a very simple fighting mechanic On the plus side, it's very pretty when you look at the sky and nowhere else. Who created these statues? Don't ask questions. I'd, I'd rather not have the answer to that. Is there an end to any of this? Yeah, like, I don't have a lot of health. Upgrade that. Like, that is my max health. Oh, I can finally do this one. Or I could hold it and wait for this one. Because I know I can counter things, but I... I don't know if I can perfect dodge things. Or I can wait for this one to reduce the cost of my prism abilities. Yes. So what I just need, I just need more mind. More mind and then I'm done. Time and place unknown. Endless pain. Endless frustration. Surely I have paid my pen penance by now. The gloom heart. Fuck! It is the connection and the way and the gate. It is the connection and the way and the gate. I must destroy it. The world lies beyond. I have tried a thousand rituals, a thousand experiments. Nothing works. The mask, that cursed prison mask is my only hope. Monroe still has it. He stalks the halls, calling me. I have nothing to lose. The death at his hands would be better than this. Someone's gone a little bit insane. Just a, a smidgen insane. I am pain. I am failure. Again with the edgy teenager. I have attacked the connections to the gloom. The connections? Yeah. Attacked the connections to the gloom hard 10,000 times. I tried. I died. I am reborn into pain. The mimic crawlers imitate me. Wretched creatures imitating the purest misery. I lie here, racked, watching them once more. I like middle school central. That's what I'm. Well, not middle school, but I'm saying edgy teenager. Boom shift. Two hundred percent damage on invis on attacks from invisibility. You know, I could. I, I kind of forgot I can do that. Regen health on enemy death. On enemy death for 0.8 seconds. How much health? Here we go. Return to the next. This can't be it. I hear the harp, but I do not see the harp. Fireman? Wrong one. It says I'm right there. That's the symbol. There's the dude. Now, I see your pain. 
I understand it. I understand you. I see in you the strength to overcome your suffering. I see a half-eaten freak feeding the gloom with his toxic anger. Hmm. Anyways, Monroe, you must know where the last ingredient is. The pain. But through it, progress. Upgrade prism abilities 12 times in me, one life. But not for you, you twisted fuck. Fuck, I can't look at my abilities while I'm here. Is this all I needed? Hold up, okay, so sulfur in over here. Hexag. Boom. Yeah, get the sulfur from over there. That's the triangle. Then I get the mercury from over here. Yeah. Then the glomai over here. No, is that the glomai? Yes. Okay, so then I combine the sulfur with the mercury. Mercury sulfide. And then I combine that with that. To make the Rebus poison. Huh. Yes. Is that it? I didn't see anything. I mean, I got the achievements. I must have done it. I guess that's it. We'll just got to destroy the fucking thing, I guess. Destroy all the malls. And let me get my last thing. Ooh, I do not have a lot of. Ginger, that's a shame. to destroy the heart of the demon. Wait, my name is Vincent Jun Junoon, and this is my last will and testament. I have failed. I fear I will never escape this place. If anyone should find this place, please deliver it to my wife, Bab Zanton, formerly of Glory Island. Now, well, I don't know where she is. I leave everything to her, but especially my love and my regret. Can you calm down back there? I'm trying to read. I'm so sorry I couldn't do more for you. I hope you get out. I hope you fit. I hope you've lived your life and found happiness. To my child, say, hmm. Ooh, yeah, Tyler. I can only offer love and my most profound apology. I want to be there for you, to help you and guide you on your journey to life, of life. I made a huge, huge mistake. Then I stayed too long, unwilling. Calm down. Unwilling to face the enormity of my foolishness until it was too late. I have paid the hope 
your path is easier than mine and that you find happiness long life and serenity i have always loved you and i will will and i always will farewell find it up and the pickups damn just getting all the achievements It's such a fun ability. I can get an upgrade this. Oh, oh, minus 20% on that. Cool. Gee, they're giving me all these other things. If you can give me some health items, that'd be fantastic. actually getting more spirit than I am using. Almost there. 
No, I sure hope we are, because I am out of... Oh, you... How the fuck did I stop you guys? Survive. Oh, thank God he disintegr disintegrated. I thought I was gonna have to fight that asshole with the full mask abilities. Oh, where am I going now? Just got going. Wait. I thought that was the whole reason you wanted to get back shot up through the portal. What do you mean? What? Let go! Can you believe that shit? They, they did all that trying to go back through the portal and they hold on to the shit trying not to go through the portal? Ridiculous. Did you feel that? It's like the air got really weird for a second there. I don't know. That Monroe. Yeah. Maybe I'm just crazy. It looks like Monroe. It's the gloom. So, uh, we'll stay in touch. I'll call you as soon as I get home. Yeah. I don't know how much I'll be telling my therapist, but you... You'll understand. First the shower. Is it like the end then? Oh yeah, that's definitely Monroe. Have a safe rest of your journey. We will be in touch. Uh, if it's like the first game, it's one of three endings. But in other words, yes, it is the ending. See, I, I told you it was very short. I wish it would play a little bit more into the horror aspect of it. Like once once you see the monsters, that's that's it. There's no like spookiness of it. There's just monsters. They did well with the uh, da -da -da -da, with the environmental design. It was very spooky, very fleshy, very disturbing. But the rest of it, it's just bat monsters. There's no jump scares, no nothing. At most, he had to deal with, uh, like the, the last two people I had to fight, fight there. You can't damage them. At best, you just run away. So the scariest part was just having to run away. In the first part, like, in the first part of the game, there was a lot more, uh, psychological feel to it. Because you go to a retreat, and everybody there has their own fucking issues. So once you're going through the mission, you, you start experiencing their issues and their... 
psychological shit. But I wish they did, I wish they leaned a little bit more into that. Like give give me more of the that psychological stuff. If you're not gonna be like spooky scary with your monsters, give me that psychological horror. Because, like, the the other characters, they're fighting their own demons, right? But it's all, like, spread throughout the island. But the main character, she has her own demon that's following her, technically. Like, if we could have gotten more, more of that, more of the demons, quote-unquote demons, because it's not really demons, that would have been nice. Oh yeah, but if they if they do another game though, just saying. You know, it was a, it was a small it was a small team. I would have liked it was a small uh, short game I would have liked to see more but other, another other god damn it words it was enjoyable Recipient of Epic King Mega Grants recipient. Okay. That's the important part. That is the important part. Thank you, Brass Token. Ah, it's a shame though. Like it's so it's so short, I was kind of putting it off from playing it, because it's like there's there's an achievement for beating the game within four hours. That's how short it is. And it's very doable, like, I... Like, if you don't stop to fight the, the monsters you don't have to fight, you can just run through everything. You, you really can. Well, I mean, I, I could, but I don't like speedrunning. Like, it's one thing if I'm just going for the achievement. It's a whole other thing if I'm just trying to beat a score. But at the same time, that's not... It's not fun. The point of the game is meant to be played, is meant to be... It's meant to be enjoyed. Well, I mean, I guess you could enjoy it doing a speed run. I don't know. Oh, there are only six achievements I do not have. No, hang on. Correction, there are six hidden achievements. Completely upgrade one of the mind, body, and spirit. Upgrade trees in the main story. Complete the main story on Magister difficulty. Fuck, this is what pisses me off. It, I missed two lore pieces. So I'm 59 out of 61. Complete the main story within four hours or less. Complete the main story without killing any cultists. See, it even encourages you not to kill things. Obtain every achievement in the main... in the main story.
Damn. That's kind of why I did it. Why I was putting... Putting off playing this game was because it was so short. I wanted to experience it a little bit more. I heard that was a good game. But I also heard it's one of those games you should play for yourself and not watch other people play because of, of the experience. Because it, it's so short you can only play it once or something. Enough of that. Back to Dead by Daylight. That's way too short. Mm -hmm. It's such a shame though. It makes you like it's a it's a good game. I, I hope they make more games. It was a good first game and they even had it they even did a DLC for it. I I hope for more. Let me uh, switch to the Dead by Daylight and I just hope their next game's a little longer. Are you capturing this thing correctly? Hello? There we go. I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight during, st <laughs> during Spooky Month. Seventy-five blood points. Why the hell did I get seventy-five blood points? Catch three survivors in a bear trap. Ah, which side are you playing? Survivor. It, fucking killer is just so boring. Kill three other survivors. It's like I. The only reason you'd want to be a a killer is if you fuck with the survivors. Because there's no real... I don't see a point to being the fucking killer.